Step into the sensationally stylish Blackpool Tower Ballroom and prepare to be lost. Beyond the Blackpool's and Golden Mile, a few streets behind the casinos and bright lights of the promenade, there is a darker side to this seaside town. If someone started on me, I'd stab them. A lot of people bring knives like when we have fights like. These boys are 14 and 15 years old. One told me he'd been stabbed in the leg. He then showed me a picture of himself holding a machete at home. To protect their identities, their voices have been changed. Is it a normal thing for people to carry knives around here? Yeah, pretty much. Why do you think people are carrying knives? Protection. So if someone comes to you with a knife, you pull out a knife as well, then nothing's going to happen. I know people are carrying them. People how old? Our age. 14-year-olds so carrying knives. 13 at the least, carrying one. Why would a 13-year-old boy need to carry a knife? Protection. Protection from what, though? From each other. At Blackpool Football Club's Community Trust, students are taught about the dangers of carrying knives. In the last five years, serious knife crime in Blackpool has almost tripled. Lauren is 18, Keeley 17. Me and my mate were walking home and um, a guy just came out and threatened to stab one of my mates. He had, like, he had a knife pointing to him. Do you feel safe going out? <laughs> no. I got threatened with a machete on the park by a group of lads when I was playing football because they wanted to play in our half, but we said no. Ashley Hackett, who runs the trust, says knife crime is a symptom of the town's wider social problems. Issues of county lines, which is obviously drug-related gangs that are, are in place in Blackpool. Young people are engaging with these, these groups, which means they are carrying weapons. What is the youngest that you've come across? We've come across eight and nine-year-olds causing antisocial behaviour, carrying knives in the town. Knife crime is often presented as a male, London-centric problem, but it's actually outside of the capital, in communities in places like Greater Manchester, the West Midlands, and here in Lancashire, where it's rising at the fastest rate. And it's not just men. 25% of all victims are women and girls. Lydia was first stabbed when she was 12 by another girl in West London. At 21, she was attacked again. And then she stabbed me through my liver and my kidney, plunged a knife, turned around and ran away. Mm. How serious were your injuries? If I wasn't 200 yards away from the hospital, I would have been dead. So, that's serious. And the trauma never fully goes away. You'll never be healed. It still burns at the core that you go through, you know, that you have been through that. She says the problem of girls carrying knives must not be ignored. I do believe girls are mixed up in this just as much. There's exploitation that's going on within these gangs and there's just low self-esteem within, within the females, females not respecting themselves. And across Britain, violent crime is rising. My brother was fatally stabbed in the neck, so I got his name across my neck. Every time I look in the mirror, I get to see his name. Back in Lancashire, Byron is still coming to terms with the loss of his brother. John Joe was stabbed to death in Preston. He was just 18 years old. It was a planned attack, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, he was stabbed uh, with a sword, a small axe, and he was beaten with um, a golf club. The whole country is suffering through knife crime, and little places like Preston and these small cities like Preston get, get no mention. And we're suffering just as much as, as everyone else in this country. The Home Office is recruiting 20,000 new police officers over the next three years to help tackle what Byron describes as a war against knife crime. Sarah Corker, BBC News.